so we want to find the values of k for which y equals k, cosine of kt is a solution to this second order differential equation. So just like verifying a solution, we're going to do this via substitution. So we know that y is cosine of kt, but we need to find the second derivative. So that's going to be our first task here. So our first derivative, derivative of cosine is negative sine of kt. Now this is a chain rule, so times the derivative of the inside. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative k sine of kt. Next thing we do is find the derivative of that derivative, so our second derivative. Now this doesn't need a product rule because k is just a constant. So I have negative k, derivative of sine is cosine of kt times, once again, the derivative of the inside. So we get negative k squared cosine of kt. So we're going to sub these in. So we have our second derivative here. We already knew what y was. So plugging these in, we get negative k squared cosine of kt plus 4 times what y was, which was cosine of kt equals 0. We can factor out the cosine of kt times negative k squared plus 4 equals 0. And to find the values of k, we only need to deal with this part um, because this is going to depend on both k and t. But this is going to give us the k's that will always make this 0. This would be dependent on t still. So we get negative k squared plus 4 equals 0. So k squared equals 4 square root both sides, we get k equals plus or minus 2, and there are our two values of k.